Hello everybody, welcome back to a new episode of the Prisoner Series 3 Rack Console. And on today's episode, I'm going to be talking about the UC Surface software, Universal Control software. So let's take a look at the software. So before I begin, I'd just like to point out something. So the Universal Control software is actually a software used to control all of Prisoner's digital console, especially the Studio Life Series 3 consoles, both the full board and the rack console. So once I have this window here open, it tells me what console is connected. I'm actually having a USB connection here so that I can be able to use my mic so you can hear me. So once I select the console, it opens up the UC surface and this is how it looks like. Yeah, so it might look a bit complicated for some people, but it's actually not complicated at all. So basically what you can see on this screen is the console itself. The same way you find a physical board, prisoner's board or an X32, you have the feeder areas, you have the mute solo you have where you you know increase your gain level you know then you do your gates your compressor eq limiter you know and all, and all of those beautiful stuffs so let me just take you around you know this console then later on i give you an in-depth knowledge of every aspect of this console and what you should be looking out for especially when you are using this console as a beginner and probably you might be a professional using this soft, this console and you probably have not you know noticed certain things that i might you know share on this you know series all i need you to understand is this software is divided into three or should i say i want to divide you know this software into three you know areas the main area which is our feeder area let me call it the feeder area from here is the inputs and processing area then here is the output area so the feeder area can also be referred to as the input area in a nutshell we can call the feeder the input processing and feeder area the channel strip yeah but i'm not going to use the word channel strip but i'm going to talk about channel strip later but for now, the screen is divided into three. This area, this area, and this area. That's all you need to know for now. So on the channel area, you find all the input channels that goes up to 32. Because this is a 32 channel console. And if you can remember, our output for the 32 channel is... 18 the main left and right and 1 to 16 flex mixes i remember we talked about flex mixes in the first you know video i guess in the first video we talked about flex mixes so in the input slash processing area we have everything basically you can find in the input channel like the preamp the gain also known as the gain or for some consoles they call it um trim and for some consoles they call it uh, input sensitivity yeah that's the word so this is like the input channel i gives you the detail and um, this is like a setting for the input channel where you can get more settings for this input channel then this is the processing area don't let this confuse you this area is the gate is not active yet this is the compressor this is the gate the compressor our eq and our limiter i hope i'm making more sense now so this is where you find your gates your compressor your eq and your limiter so basically, like I said, it's divided into three screens. The first screen is your, your channel inputs. 
then your input, you know, informations. If it's if you want to do a high pass or low pass, there's no low pass here. If you want to send to your main output, if you want to set to a subgroup, just like that, this is where you have you know to more more channel information. So this is basically the areas, the three areas we are going to be talking about, and the output area also include our FX. It has four FX, you know, channel. So we are going to be talking about this, and remember, it has one to sixteen flex mixes. We are also going to be talking about this. I remember it has a main out, which is left and right, making all outputs 18. I hope that makes sense. So for now, this is what the universal control software basically look like. So we have also this interesting part here. I don't want to mention this part right now, but let me just give you, you know, a short clip of each of them. So this is where your FX processing is. You select which verb kind of verb you want. If it's a, um, when I mean verb, I mean reverb. Um, if you want a reverb or you want a delay, a kind of delay, or you want a chorus, so you select A, B, or C, or D. So you select. So once you are done here, you can now come to your FX A. Once you are sending, you know, a mic into the FX A. So it, the, the machine you use here, the plugin you use here, the plugin you use here determines the sound, the kind of sound. So you can, you know, tweak and find what sounds good to you. Yeah. So that is for FX. So when we come to um, um, what's it called? The memory card here. So there's a memory card actually on my unit. So this is where you see it all. If you are capturing, if you are recording capture your capture software, you see some information here. Then this is this information here is more like um, a library for your console where you need to recall or save a preset, maybe a channel preset or something like that. So here is where you save like a scene. It seems more like uh, you are saving all aspect of the console. Maybe you 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 have actually you know set up this console for live events, and you have your drum kick you know all of those stuff laid out. Or some for some folks they want to use this unit for just streaming, so they can have some configurations done for streaming purpose only. For some. They can have you know both worlds of you know in the console so anyone that works for you, you can just have your preset and save and you move on so anytime you find yourself in that situation you remember oh i have a preset already i have a scene that i've saved for such you know um program then you just load it up so also what you find here is a setting this um setting you know looking icon so this is where you find all other kind of settings i'm not going to be talking about so much of this today so on our next ep episode we are going to talk about more stuffs about the universal control software and how to you know move around and i'm sure i'll be able to show you some examples and uh, something very practical that you can learn from thank you so much for watching Please do not forget to subscribe and like this video and I'm sure you would benefit a whole lot from this channel. Thank you so much. God bless.